Leo, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louvre here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading for September. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Leo, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge, Leo, is the Five of Pentacles. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the world upright. So Leo, your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with the Five of Pentacles over the month of September. We're gonna clarify the Five of Pentacles. We're gonna see why it's your challenge in a moment. Now, in the recent past, Leo, you have the Star, the Six of Cups, and you have the Three of Cups. So in the recent past, I do strongly feel that there was a connection. Someone from your past who came back, you may have reconciled with this person, you may have celebrated the fact that this person did come back into your life. And for many of you, you healed things with this person from the past. Now, if this is not about someone from your past coming back, this is about you healing from a past situation that affected you on a very deep level and you started to celebrate getting over this person from the past. That could also be the case as well. We're gonna clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Five of Wands, and you have the Ace of Cups. In the present moment, there's a brand new opportunity that's coming into your life. This could be someone wanting to have a new beginning with you. This could be a new beginning in love. This could be a new beginning in your career. This could be an opportunity connected to your finances. However, there's a conflict in the present moment, okay? And we're gonna talk about this conflict. We're gonna see why the Five of Wands is showing up when we clarify in a moment. In the near future, you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Pentacles, and you have the Queen of Swords. So in the near future with the Wheel of Fortune here, there's something that is a part of your destiny that's coming into your life, whether you know this or not, it is coming in for you. The Wheel of Fortune is all about our destiny. It is about the things that happen in our life that we can't really calculate, that we can't really no, for sure. It's just something that is a part of our life purpose. And this is connected to a particular person who wants clarity from you. Somebody here in the near future is reevaluating the connection, reevaluating, you know, their life. Now this could be you or it could be your person. We're going to find out more about this when we clarify. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the world and you have the 10 of cups here. There could be a relationship that's coming to an end or there could be something connected to a third party that may be coming to an end. There's something here that is going to be done something here is going to close out and it could be the fact uh that you know there's some sort of unhappiness here if there's been a third party here that's closing out for you there's definitely a relationship here there could be a relationship that's coming in some of you may reject this person okay and we're going to talk about why this energy is coming up and what you need to know as we get into the reading so let's clarify your reading and let's see what's going on for you Okay, let's clarify the Five of Pentacles, your challenge. Okay, so the Five of Pentacles is clarified by the King of Cups. You have the Six of Swords and you have the Two of Wands. So your biggest challenge here, Leo, has a lot to do with whether or not you are going to be disconnecting from this particular person. The particular signs that I see for you, Taurus, I'm getting an Aries, a Gemini, Aquarius, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Your biggest challenge here is the fact that you've either been in separation for a very long time with this person, or you may be contemplating moving into separation with this person because something here has lost its value. Something here does not hold value anymore. And this is the biggest challenge that you have because a lot of you, since your birthday, you've, you've realized that certain things in your life 
life need to change? Your life needs to start improving. It needs to start getting better. And when it doesn't, you start to question whether or not this is for you, okay? Now, again, if your life is perfect, everything is great, you don't need the reading. It's so for those of you who need the reading that are questioning a relationship, a lot of you are questioning something because you've had enough. There's something that you're involved in where you've had enough. You wanna be set free from the situation because for many of you, whatever the situation is that you're involved in, it doesn't hold value anymore. And it's very clear to you that the situation doesn't hold value. It's not giving back to you as much as you're giving to the situation because what follows the five of pentacles is the six of pentacles. And what we see with the six of pentacles is someone is giving and giving and giving to the needy, but the needy isn't giving anything back to the person who's giving. So for many of you, your challenge has a lot to do with determining whether or not you still want to give love to a situation that doesn't hold value. And the question you're asking yourself, which is a big part of your challenge is, is this something that I continue, I want to continue in my life or do I want to separate myself from it? And if I separate myself from it, is my life going to get better? I see 420 on the clock. You can check out what 420 online angel number means for you. Okay. And that's going to be a big part of your challenge. Now in the recent past, let's clarify the six of cups. So the six of cups is clarified by the lovers, the hierophant and the four of cups. So in the recent past, there was an extremely strong connection between you and a particular person. The problem that I'm seeing here, some of you are married to this person or you were heavily committed to this person. There started to be a lack of affection here in the past, either from you or your person, take it as it resonates. There was a lot of passion here. But the reason why the relationship didn't sustain itself, Leo, is because somebody here wasn't emotionally available or somebody here wasn't emotionally consistent in the relationship. And as a result of that, for many of you, the relationship came to an end. Tell me more about the three of cups. Now, for some of you, there was a third party here in the past, and this could also be another reason why things didn't work out. That's for some of you. You have the 10 of cups, the two of pentacles, yes, and the four of swords. So there's that that energy, that dual energy of, you know, third party uh, here. Now, even though this took place because there was a family involved or there was this feeling of a very strong emotional bond between you and this person, there was a reconciliation. There was an opportunity maybe here in the past to heal things temporarily, okay? So this is what I see happened in the past. Now, in the present moment, there's a huge conflict that's taking place. And we're going to talk about this conflict and we're going to see why it's here. But first, I want to clarify the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here in the present moment? And what does Leo need to know? So the Ace of Cups is clarified by the Four of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. It's very interesting because <laughs> the Five of Wands is here twice in the present moment. So there's definitely a conflict. There's definitely a lot of pressure here in terms of you disagreeing with a particular person. Now, I'm going to tell you why there's a conflict. The reason why there's a conflict in the present moment, and I think I mentioned this. I don't know who I mentioned this to. I think I mentioned this to Scorpio or Cancer. So you could have a rising or a moon water sign or a like you could have Scorpio or cancer rising or as a moon sign in the present moment, somebody here is super independent. They don't need the other person. They're financially good. They don't need, you know, money from anybody. There's a lot of this hoarding energy. There's a lack of being generous in the present moment. And this is what's creating the conflict. Somebody here is so focused on themselves. Okay. I'm seeing 420, uh, 422 on the clock. You can check out what 422 means for you when it comes, when it's in connection to this conflict. So somebody here, super, super focused on themselves. They're self-driven here. And it's almost like a cocky energy. Like, I don't really need you. I don't really need you in my life. But one of the reasons why this love that's coming into your life, Leo, cannot manifest is because you're not being vulnerable. Now, if this is not you, it could be your person. Someone here is not being vulnerable. And one of the things that we have to realize when we want a relationship, when we want love to come in our life, if we come across as someone who doesn't need the other person for whatever reason, it starts to feel like it's a competition. Like, okay, well, why am I here then? If you don't need me, then why am I here? What's the point of that? So somebody here 
They're either so driven and focused on themselves that they're appearing as if they don't need to be associated with the other person, which is detrimental to love when love is being offered you know, love is, okay, I'm vulnerable. I'm here, like I'm bearing it all. And that's why love is so scary, right? Because when you give love and you get hurt, you say to yourself, well, I gave everything to this situation and I was disappointed. So somebody here has this guard up right now and they're holding on to this and there's stubbornness here. It's a very stubborn energy. It's like, I'm right, you're wrong. Um, I don't need you. And, and it's like, why would somebody want to pursue or be with someone who acts like they don't need anybody? Well, then you might as well be on your own, right? So this is why the conflict's happening in the present moment. Now, if that's not the case, this conflict could also be stemming from the fact that you or this person won't let it go. There's something here that's creating a conflict and you or this person are coming to this realization. Let me clarify the five of wands. It's going to give me more information on this conflict. Why is the five of wands here in the present moment for Leo? So the five of wands is clarified by the three of pentacles. You have the wheel of fortune and the magician. Interesting. In the present moment, somebody here is arguing over the fact that you or this person is trying to control the relationship. Someone here is trying to control everything. They're trying to be very dominant in the situation. And instead of allowing things to naturally flow the way they need to, this is what's creating the resistance in the present moment. Okay. Uh, so in the present moment, there is an opportunity here for you and this person to come together and collaborate. And this is going to be a big part of your challenge because for many of you, you're not giving this person an opportunity to prove themselves to you. Give this person an opportunity to prove themselves to you. Leo, if you're always the one trying to be in control and showing this person you don't need them, well, this is the reason why there's a potential separation. And this is also why in the present moment, there's a huge opportunity here. It says, are you prepared to receive some type of opportunity or gift? And in order to do that, you need to let go of the control. Now, if this is not you, it could be your person. Somebody here is being controlling because they feel like they know everything. They feel like they're always right. And this is what the magician does. The, mani the magician is actually a manipulator, okay? And a manipulator is not always a bad thing. A manipulator could be good or bad, depending on what you're manipulating in terms of what your outcome is, right? So in the present moment, somebody here is trying to manipulate things and what it's doing is it's self-serving instead of being collaborative, three of pentacles. So this is about allowing something here to naturally flow the way it needs to flow in order for you and this person to come together and create some form of opportunity. And this is why there's resistance and issues in the present moment, because I think really strongly here, Leo, you and this person love each other, and there is going to be communication coming in to clear the air with Mercury retrograding. Tell me more about the ace of pentacles in the present moment for Leo. There's definitely an opportunity here if you're able to let things flow instead of trying to control them. Because you lose your, your essence when you do that, right? We know you're strong, we know you're powerful. You don't have to scream at the top of the mountain about it. Trust me, <laughs> trust me, I know that. I know you're powerful and strong. Uh, there's a disappointment here right now in the present moment, someone wants clarity. The reason why this person Leo has been on and off with you is because there's a lot of this fear in the present moment in regards to a third party, or there was something here that didn't work out between you and this person. And I think one of the things that you're learning right now is if you're somebody, okay, who wants the most perfect relationship, you want the best relationship in the world, you don't want anything bad to happen, and you're not willing to work things out with this person and heal things with them, well, this is why there's a lack of consistency here. Because I'm gonna go back to what I originally said to you, and some of you, right away when you watch this, you're gonna say, nope, that's not me, and you're not gonna admit it. When you admit there's something wrong with you, and when you admit you have problems, that's the half the battle, <laughs> okay? Um, so for many of you who are denying the fact that you're perfect and everything's great and everything's amazing, you're missing the point. You're missing the point. So in the present moment, this person's been inconsistent emotionally with you because there's a lack of forgiveness, there's a lack of understanding. There's a lack of you being open to the other person's perspective. Okay. There is a lack of dropping your guard and there's a lack of 
showing this person, I don't always have to be the boss. I'm going to allow you to do what you need to do because I trust you're going to make the right decision. The question you need to ask yourself, Leo, is do you truly trust this person in the present moment? Because if you don't give them that space for them to show you who they truly are, how are you ever going to know who they are? And this is what this opportunity is about. It's about healing things with this person and looking at the other side of things. Cause that's what the five of cups is. Often we look at the negative aspects instead of looking at the positive aspects. And this is why you're having a difficulty making a decision on whether or not you should stay or go. Okay. Um, so this is what I'm seeing for you in the present moment. It's super complex. Um, but that's what I'm seeing now in the near future. There is going to be something that comes into your life. That is a part of your destiny. You can't run from this. You can't hide from it. It is a part of the process of your life. And we're going to talk about this when we clarify in a moment, but first I want to clarify the queen of swords. Why is it here? What does Leo need to know in the near future? So the queen of swords is clarified by the sun. You have the eight of pentacles and you have the five of pentacles. So there's your challenge in the near future. A lot of you are going to disconnect from something here. This could be connected to your work. It could be connected to working things out with a particular person. One of the things that you may not realize in the near future, Leo is in the near future, Something is going to be so obvious. You're no longer going to question it because right now in the present moment, there's so much going on. There's so much questioning. There's so much conflict that in the near future, you no longer have to question this. You're still thinking about it. You're still analyzing this situation. Should I continue to invest here? Should I still be here? Should I go or not? But something here is a part of your destiny. And I feel like it's connected to you disconnecting from something here that doesn't hold value for you anymore. Now, this could be a person, place or thing. Some of you, this is connected to your work because you have the five of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. Some of you are working in a job or you're doing something connected to your work. That's not, it's not growing. It's not giving you what you truly need. And you're going to start becoming clear to recognize what needs to come to an end, what truly needs to come to an end in order for you to feel fulfilled and happy. So there's there's a lot of this questioning, analyzing, preparing in the near future. Tell me more about the seven of pentacles in the near future for Leo. You have the six of pentacles, you have the emperor and you have the nine of swords. So in the near future, Again, here's this energy that I was talking about. Remember I was picking up on the six of pentacles. There it is in the near future. So what you're analyzing here in the near future and what's creating a lot of anxiety and stress is two important things. The first thing is the fact, and I'm only sp talking to specific Leo. So majority of you are going to watch this and you're going to say that doesn't resonate. It's not my story. It's because your life is perfect and everything is great and you don't need the reading. But if your life is you know, not hunky dory and things aren't great, then this may be your message here. You in the near future or this person's really worried. Somebody's worried because there's a lack of equal give and take again. Okay. And this is what leads to instability. So many of you make the decision to close things out or end things because something here isn't stable. It's not giving you what you need. You've already gotten enough up until this point in the near future where you can disconnect or walk away from the situation. That's what I feel like you are doing because in the near future, there's something bigger and better for you. The wheel of fortune is about our destiny. And sometimes we need to recognize in our lives what is not holding value in order for us to truly move towards what does. Tell me more about the wheel of fortune for Leo in the near future. So the wheel of fortune is clarified by the high priestess, the king of pentacles and the tower. Yeah. Sometimes you need to accept the fact that, you know, a tower moment needs to happen for you to truly come to this place of fulfilling your destiny and goals. And this is what I see you doing. You're going to be ending something in the month of September that is going to lead to your true happiness. And yes, there is a little bit of sadness here, but a lot of you are choosing to do this because for many of you, you are tired of being in a situation where you don't feel valued. You don't feel appreciated. You constantly feel like you're giving more to a situation and getting nothing in return. Okay. And you want to be happy. This is what you're focused on in September, how to get to this place of truly feeling fulfilled once again. So let's get some advice.
Your advice here, Leo, is the Queen of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. Your biggest piece of advice, Leo, has a lot to do with determining what has been blocking you. Something has been blocking you energetically for quite some time. This can be in connection to a relationship, your finances, okay, whatever the case may be. And Spirit is asking you to do two important things. The first thing is to recognize the power that you have within yourself. You have the power within yourself to create and manifest the things that you want. You are the queen of wands. What is holding you back right now is something that has been energetically blocking you. And what spirit is saying is, is that you need to recognize your power, but you also equally need to recognize what you need to let go of. There's something that you've been holding on to for quite some time and it's really been blocking your energy and you know exactly what this is. You've been wrestling with this for quite some time, months even for some of you. Uh, I feel like this started to happen in May where you started to realize, hey, maybe I need to let this situation go. There's something here that you want to do that you're very passionate about and it hasn't been able to happen for you because you're holding on to something here that does not hold value for you anymore. So your biggest piece of advice is to identify things in your life that have been holding you back, that have been blocking you from reaching your full potential. And once you finally do that, that's when you're going to be able to manifest and create the things that you're looking to create in your life. Okay. So Leo, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.